So the Citizens Review Board on Police Practices is a board made up of 23 citizens from all over San Diego. And our purpose is to review complaints made against police officers. Um, we do that so that we can make sure both the police officer and the citizen get um, a fair review of the complaint and the process. And um, we determine if we believe we're either in agreement with internal affairs or in disagreement. The purpose of the Citizens Review Board is to review Category 1 complaints, which are serious complaints against police officers made by citizens. We review those complaints to determine whether we believe that Internal Affairs did a proper job in the investigation and that the result was fair for both the officer and the citizen. Category 1 complaints, which are the more serious complaints, are things like slur, um, use of force, discrimination, and or false arrest. The relationship is one of collaboration. Um, even though we are reviewing complaints against police officers, we work very closely to access all of the information we need to do a thorough review of that complaint. So it's one of collaboration. So as a board, one of our um, jobs is to review discipline for officers. So if there is a sustained finding on an allegation that a citizen's made, then um, Internal Affairs takes that back to the uh, command that that officer is part of, and they do discipline the officer. Um, as with any organization, they have their progressive discipline matrices, and they follow that pretty strictly. Um, so once, once the discipline is done, it comes back to the board for review. But we're really just reviewing to, one, ensure that discipline did occur and that discipline was appropriate um, based on the police department matrix. And then also uh, whether we agree or disagree with the discipline. So even if the discipline was appropriate and within policy, sometimes we don't agree and we think there should have been more or maybe less discipline. We, we can, again, report that in our statistics as a board. we have the opportunity as board members to change police department policy and procedures. So even if we go through a case and a um, finding is you know, not sustained or exonerated, but at our hearts we just don't agree with the policy itself that allowed the police officer to be exonerated, we have the opportunity as a board to recommend change to policy and procedure to the police department. And we've been able to, over the years, recommend several policies and procedure changes that they've actually implemented. Um, some that they haven't, but many that they have. And so we really believe that our power is not only in ensuring that citizens get a thorough review of complaints, but it's also in shaping the future of the police department so that there are less complaints in the future.